Imagine that you're driving along and you make a right turn and after you straighten out the wheels, the vehicle wants to keep going to the right. Or you just made a left turn and once you straighten it out, the vehicle pulls to the left instead of returning to the neutral center position. This is a very real condition known as memory steer. It also can be characterized by a steering wander effect, where it feels like you have to keep correcting the wheel as you drive. Typically, this binding is caused by an out of spec or improperly installed front end suspension or steering component. Memory steer is particularly problematic on platforms with solid front axles, such as the Ford F-250 and F-350 with a Dana 60 axle and the Dodge Ram 2500 and 3500 with an AAM 9 and a quarter inch front fixed axle. A common cause of memory steer in the Ford F-250 and F-350 with the Dana 60 axle is improper installation of replacement upper and lower ball joints. Technicians often forget to remove and clean the caster camber adjustment sleeve and clean the sleeve bore holes to ensure that the sleeve moves freely in the axle yoke before reinstalling the steering knuckle. If the sleeve doesn't move freely before reassembly, there's a strong probability that the ball joints are going to bind against each other, which is going to lead to memory steer. Now let's look at the Dodge Rams with the 9.25 inch AAM front fixed axle, which you can find on the 2003 through 2021 model years. This is a bit of a different situation because of the unique telescoping kingpin design of the upper ball joint on the AAM axle. Memory steer in these Dodge Ram platforms can be the result of angular forces that cause the upper ball joint to bind. The upper ball joint on the AAM 9.25 inch axle rotates and telescopes slightly and it has a straight pin going through it that needs to point at the center of the ball pin on the bottom of the steering knuckle. As axle components age and develop imperfections, the pin wants to move at an angle to maintain proper alignment of the upper and lower ball joint mounting points on the steering knuckle. And that causes the binding that leads to memory steer. Some upper ball joints use a plastic bearing to try to accommodate this variation, but the constant off-center loading may lead to deformation of the bearing and or early failure of the ball joint. It's important to point out that improper installation can be a factor too. Not torquing the ball joints to specification and in sequence is another potential cause of memory steer in these Dodge Ram trucks. Fortunately, the aftermarket has developed a solution for memory steer in these vehicles. Mevotech designed its TTX snap-in bearing from the ground up to address the challenges of memory steer on solid axle applications. Available on all TTX telescoping ball joints, the patented design allows for continuous and exact pin realignment through pivoting motion, which prevents binding or memory steer. The bearing and stud work together to withstand increased off-center loads through telescoping and swinging motion. And the oversized sintered metal bearing has a large contact area that's engineered to accommodate the challenges of a worn knuckle. If you have a customer complaining about memory steer in their Dodge Ram 2500 or 3500 with the AAM 9.25 inch front fixed axle, do them a favor and tell them about Mevotech's TTX TXMS 25506 ball joint. Mevotech snap in bearing technology also is available on the TTX TXK3134T ball joint for the 1987 through 2018 Jeep Wrangler with the Dana. 4430 series axle. These patented solutions are designed specifically to address memory steer in these Dodge Ram and Jeep models, as well as withstand greater loads in all ranges of movement and provide extended heart life for these hardworking vehicles. I'm Josh Cable. Thanks for watching.